Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today is proper exciting because the weather's good. We're going to head from France to Spain. Cue the intro. So what I'm going to do to make it really easy and explain the route, I'm going to hand you over to my planning department to go through all the cool stuff we'll be doing today. Donk which is Alan's favourite word for so. You come out of the Couvent and this time you turn right and then you're going to continue down through Genos, saint Pediterre by the lake and go all the way down until you get to the road that will take you to a junction that will be signposted to Bangor to Luchon which is where you've already been and you continue all the way down that road, which is a lovely main road, until you get to Bangor de Luchon. When you get there, you've got to take the D618A, which is the mountain road that goes from France into Spain. And when you get onto that road, you'll find that it's, again, another famous Tour de France road and it's full of twists and turns, very much U-turns that goes right across. And then as you can see, you get to the border right at the top of the Pyrenees, a very high point, probably be some snow. And then you've got more twists and turns, lots and lots and lots in Spain until you get down at the end of that road. And then we're gonna meet you for lunch. So you just turn left and then you're into a little town, beautiful little town, on the edge of the Garonne, the river, where we'll meet you for lunch. Well, there you go. You know where I'm going. My dad said lots of interesting names there that, again, I will completely forget. He's given me it in detail every little bit. Again, I can't remember it, but I have written down the road that I'm after when I get to Luchon, so I can go over the top of the mountain and go to Spain, where I'm gonna meet them for lunch, is the plan. Hopefully I'll make it and hopefully I won't go wrong. But we're leaving lovely Malvasie, that's behind us now. And like I said, first stop for me to do is get to Luchon. So I've put that in the sat nav so I can't go wrong there. But another brilliant adventure, I can't wait. We're actually gonna go to Spain. We're gonna go to Spain. We're gonna go over the mountain and we're gonna go to Spain. I mean, that is proper cool, proper, proper cool. So let's get some miles underneath us and let's get to the most awesome, amazing mountain pass ever. So I'm not far now away from Luchon where I really want to start the video properly because obviously I'm just on sort of mainish roads. But to be fair, these main roads, I mean, look at it. It's picturesque. The mountains, it's like a postcard, the snow on the peaks, the sun trying to break through the cloud. It's just, oh, it's just out of this world. And the tarmac that we're on, like, there's no potholes for me to sort of try and avoid. It's just beautiful silk. And I want to obviously gun it, but I'm trying to sort of stick to the speed limits and not just go nuts. And I don't need to, really, because I've got all this to take in, all this to look at, and it's incredible. We're really close to Luchon now, so I'm going to get to Luchon, and then from Luchon is where we start taking the mountain road up, and that will be where at the top of the mountain what's going to be incredible hopefully we'll be obviously we'll go over the spanish border so i've heard at the spanish border that you know obviously they like to check you so i've heard they put on the old rubber gloves and the old vaseline and <laughs> make sure that you're um you know not carrying air and anything like cooker pies up your bum um and stuff like that so yeah that should be interesting i look forward to that i've been clenching all day just to make sure that yeah it's all good anyway Let's keep going. Let's see what this border cross is like as well when we get there. But I just can't see these mountains, these proper mountain roads. Here we are in Luchon and it's pretty. It's a pretty, pretty town, I think. And we are now going on the road that I was instructed to. And I didn't get lost. What's impressive. And all I need to do now is follow this all the way up those mountains in front of us. <laughs> what is going to be absolutely incredible and enjoy potentially the best ride of my entire life. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be real good. Let's give it some beanage. 
I know I can't because I'm in the village. In the village, isn't it? Here we go. Here's the sign, the Col de Portillon. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I'm sure that's what that says. Col de Portillon. And we've got to be careful of... Dear... Oh dear. Right, let's go. Let's do this unbelievableness. Oh, this is going to be epic. This is going to be epic. It says it's open, so we're all good. Here we go. Here we go. Beautiful bend. I love the way as well, like I know it's daft to say it, but with the wooden bit along the side, because obviously most places you go, it's just metal. And here it's like wood, and it kind of adds to that kind of effect. Let alone if it hit that, I'd be over, because obviously it's very small, but it doesn't, it doesn't affect the view. It kind of adds to it, if you know what I mean. Give it some more bean edge. Oh, what a spectacular, like, it's like forest mountain, isn't it? Drop this down a gear in, in, let the bike get up in the rev, in the, uh, rev range. Well, here we go, look at this. <laughs> Little waterfall. Good old twisties. Oh. oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Let's go. This is too much fun. Too much fun. What a road. Powering down. Oh, let's do it. Look at it. Oh, I don't even want to go quick because I just want to take it in. It's the problem. Listen to that. Oh. <laughs> Again, I'm not going that quick because it's the exhaust. This bike doesn't go like crazy, but it sounds like you're doing a million miles an hour. Listen. Oh, that engine. Oh, hard braking down then. Oh, the waterfall. Anyway, the road's more exciting than the waterfall. Let's go. Woohoo! Ah, yes. My ears just popped. Already. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I think I found my Mecca. I really think I found my Mecca. It's like I'm lost for words to try to even explain how stunning this is. I'll try and put it into context. It's like when they remove the pucker pie out of the oven and the steam's coming off and that crispy base and you just go, oh, perfect. That's this. It's like the crust on a pucker pie. <laughs> Absolutely.
just checked Google Maps and I think we're not very far now from the border so I've been preparing myself and done a few squats at the side just in case I want to inspect and uh, yeah we'll be crossing over to Spain France to Spain like this I wish every every border was like this incredible right last last bit of France but obviously I'll be going back tonight but you know what I mean the last bit of the French side before we hit the Spanish side that means I've got to speak my fluent Spanish uh, I'm very good at Spanish as well uh, what do they say gracias no that's that's Spanish I can't remember now I'll just speak my fluent I don't know I'll speak my fluent French instead munch too that's, but well, they wouldn't understand me anyway back onto this road of just epic dreams. I wonder if they'll have like armed guards at the top with pointy sticks and stuff as well. Who knows? Well, I think this is the point. This is the, this is the, this is the moment. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 look at this. Wow, I've fallen in love. So I haven't gone very far, <laughs> literally a few twisty bends. And then I see this opening in this view and I just go, this is the place. This is the place where I'm gonna enjoy a coffee. Because when I set off, my dad gave me a flask with freshly ground coffee in and told me to enjoy it. And this is the place to enjoy it. And I want you guys to see how awesome this is. I think anybody would agree this truly is an 11 out of 10 coffee stop <laughs> just it's beautiful isn't it it's just absolutely beautiful what a place to be what a place to see now I've got these twisties here to go and I think that's when I cross over and I get inspected anally uh, to make sure that I'm safe before I can travel into Spain so wish me luck but I've got all this to do and then all the way down into Spain to do. Perfect. Right then, shall we? Do a few more of these twisters. Are you ready? I will put that down so I look cool. Let's go. What's up in here? We finally got snow as well actual snow now you know what they say don't eat it if it's yellow it's not lemon it's true don't eat it if it's yellow pre-warning and if it's brown <laughs> stay at least two meters away otherwise you'll catch something plaza please they are here oh. Morning. <sighs> Missy. Man. Well, I just went through security. That was very awkward. Um, but yeah, feeling uh, yeah a bit special. But anyway, 
I went through, everything's checked out. I'm allowed into Spain. So hello, Spain. That was France. This is Spain. We are here. We are here. Now, the rules really haven't changed from coming to France to Spain. They still ride on the wrong side of the road and go around roundabouts the wrong way. They're a bit confused, but we are here. And we got some more twisties to go down now because it's all the way up and then all the way down. You see the difference in the road surface over here. The French side is phenomenal. Look at the Spanish side. It's not bad, but it's not, it's very much not, it's not the French side. Not the French side at all, but still good. Just perfecto. On glai. Now lots of people will want to know my advice on border crossings. What you do is, is you become what they call a British plonker that says thank you and okay and thank you. Because the more you try to speak to them in English, they don't really like it and they tend to uh, get you through a bit quicker. That border crossing did take me five minutes. Obviously it's Europe, um, so it's European to European, France to Spain, so it's not such a big deal like getting visas and stuff like that obviously but um it was a five minute check you know in out poke it about and get out of dodge and it's all good it's all good but look at the gorgeousness of spain ah oh, pretty 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 just can't go quick because these roads are just not so good we'll be losing the snow in a second i'll just slow down here take it in this is Spanish snow. Obviously we had French back there. This is slightly more salty, so they say. Anyway, after that waste of your time of me showing you snow, let's continue on. I think it's, what's we going to? Bosset. Bosset, something like that again, I can't remember. It's on that piece of paper. Um, not massively far and we'll be there for a lunch. Spain, of course, I've got to drink sangria because it'd be rude not to. I'm going to have to have a Spanish beer. Obviously, all this will be 100% non-alcoholic for my ride home. Um, and I'm looking forward to that because whenever I film, whenever I go anywhere, whenever I go anywhere at all, I don't tend to stop. Like I do just go, 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 go until I'm done. And I don't, my visions of sitting in nice cafes with my feet up sipping a latte and looking over, the visions are there, but I never do it because I just want to, I just want to ride. I just want to get out. I just want to get out and experience the ride and not waste my time sat in coffee shops. But the visions are. Anyway, back to these amazing downhill sweepers. This bike loves it. This bike absolutely loves it. So as we're winding down, I think the thing is, when it comes down to passes, and I've done quite a few mountain passes over the years, I really have, but that has got to be the best. Like literally the top of my list now for, for just wow factor. The amount of times that you stop and look, and again, you, you want to gun it because you want to get your knee down and you want to fly, but the reality is, is that you don't. So that down there, if you can see, is where we're actually headed to. Down there, is my dad and my stepmom should be sat in a restaurant waiting for me with a cold beer on the table. That should be the plan. And my other plan of it is, is because I want to spend some time with them, so I've asked them to come and meet me. I want to pay for, obviously, a beautiful lunch because they have looked after me, and it's only halfway through this trip, but they have looked after me like, honestly, it's incredible. I've been, I've been pampered. I've been so well looked after. So. I'm really looking forward to being able to give something back because they won't take, I keep saying like, I want to go to the shop and I'll get some beer and I'll get some nice wine and they, and they just won't accept it, they just won't accept it. So this is like the only way that I can, I can pay them back for all this like, like kindness because this, this, this is their home, this isn't just, this isn't just literally their, do you know what I mean, they're like, this, this isn't a holiday home or anything else, this is where they live, this is like, I'm sleeping there, I'm drinking their drink and I'm eating all their food and they're just looking after me and they're staying up till really late and we're yabbering away but I'm just gonna grab one shot of this before I head down there and get some food so the final stop really as I'm heading down because the town's just there but I want to stop at this viewing point and just share it have a quick look before they do that final ride down and the video ends but look again at the beautifulness
So the final bit, the final last few beautiful twisters before it's over. And I want to go up and down, up and down, up and down all day, literally all day. The only thing of it is, is that I can't go through that border crossing anymore. Couldn't, I don't know if I could do it again. It's a painful experience. So I think, you know, maybe just back and that's it. But one more time, but I'd love to go up and down, up and down, just fly around those bends and just get more and more confident as you do it and quicker and quicker and quicker and just soak up all the experience have one fast ride and have one slow ride just to take in the view have one fast ride one slow ride all day i should be a, a bike tester who just rides these roads on bikes and that would be the perfect job but anyway back to reality let's enjoy the last few perfect bends until when i get down and have that crisp cold obviously non-alcoholic beer um and just enjoy that Spanish town, that sat out and enjoy the sun and be a tourist, be a proper tourist. I just need to wear really, really bad shorts, a white t-shirt with no sleeves and uh, take lots of pictures of things and try to speak really bad Spanish and I'm, 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 I'm in, aren't I? That's it, they'll, they'll love me or just take my money and laugh. This is it, I could buy that, buy one of these places, can I? And of all the riches I earn from YouTube, I could buy one of these places and just live here. And I'd probably have to have a sports bike for that, if I'm completely honest. A zip up and down there on like a fire blade would be, would probably be the most amazing thing ever. And then obviously have then my adventure bike for the mountains, and I can go off road. And then, um, yeah, have every other bike. Then and obviously I need the the British classic because I'm a British lord. So I'll get my Triumph Bonneville Speedmaster. That's also also going to have to happen, and then uh, I basically need every kind of bike for every kind of ride, don't I? So, yeah, with all my YouTube millions, I may well think about buying one if I actually ever make any real proper money. And then, yeah, happy days. Anyway, I was told that they're on the left somewhere. Anyway. I'm just going to quickly say thank you so much for watching. I'm going to grab this beer, spend some quality time with my family, and I will see you tomorrow in the next crazy episode. But ladies and gentlemen, this is The Spanish Town. Thank mm -hmm. you.